Josh Hawley, Republican Senator Josh Hawley, was speaking at some National Conservatism Conference, and he was talking about the impact that feminism has had on men. And he said something hilarious. Can we be surprised that after years of being told that they are the problem, that their manhood is the problem, more and more men are withdrawing into the enclave of idleness and pornography and video games. I found the comment by one young man to a Wall Street Journal reporter particularly evocative and particularly heartbreaking. He said, I'm sort of waiting for a light to come on so I can figure out what to do next. Okay, there, there's a lot to say about this. So, um, he talks about, well, there are years and years of men being told they're the problem. Like boys being told they're the problem and toxic masculinity and feminism and all this stuff. I'm 33 years old. I'm a classic standard millennial. Um, there was no point in my life where I felt like uh, my I was told my masculinity is the problem. And I am, what's the new uh, current day lingo on this stuff? I am a cisgender heterosexual white male. And I've never been told. And I never felt like I'm not allowed to like the things I like, do the things I do, act the way I act. Now, look, maybe I'm lucky. Maybe there are some people who do feel like, oh, I can't act like this or, or be myself or whatever. My advice to those people would be, fuck the haters, act like yourself. So in a weird way, I'm actually going to take the conservative position on this, and he's taking the non-conservative position. Because when it comes to your social life and your personal life, I am huge on the idea, pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Sort that shit out yourself. Get yourself together. It, look, it, it's almost like a, a, almost like a Jordan Peterson type message in a way. I think that I, I totally am not with Jordan on politics. I think he's not correct on a lot of political stuff, and I'm putting that kindly. Um, but I think when it comes to psychology stuff, even though his personal life is sort of a mess and he had all these problems, put that aside. On paper, the stuff he's telling young men to do. Like, hey, man, uh, you want a wife? You want kids? Get your act together. Become more attractive. Become more appealing. Get a job. Clean your fucking room. Like all, So that's my take on it. And if you feel like people in your life or society is telling you, you can't be yourself, you can't do this, you can't do that, I give the same advice to you that I would give to somebody who's in a marginalized group. Uh, you know, like LGBTQ or person of color, whatever. Unapologetically be yourself. Rep yourself. Wear it on your sleeve. There's nothing to be ashamed of. There's nothing to be embarrassed of. You know, I am the stereotypical dude of my age. You know, I like watching sports. I do. I like, uh, you know, I kind. he talks about being idle as if that's a bad thing. I like being an idol from time to time. And that's the other part of this, the freedom part of this. So he brings up, Oh, men are being told they're the problem, so now the backlash to that is they're withdrawing into idleness, porn, and video games. I got news for you, Josh Hawley. Men have always, from time to time, pulled back into idleness, because sometimes idleness feels good. I've done that in my life from time to time, and I look back on it fondly. At the time I was being idle, I needed to be idle, I needed to get away. I mean, I'm also, even though it doesn't look like it, I'm also a big introvert, so that's one of the reasons why I would go down that path. But... It's not because of society or because people are feeling judged that they're retreating to porn. People like porn. People who are not uh, under attack in any way or feel like their masculinity is being questioned in any way watch porn. Uh, almost everybody watches porn. The overwhelming... I mean, I don't know what the numbers are. 90%, 95% of people? Either. I mean, probably 100% have at some point in their life watched porn, but regularly, I don't know, you tell me, 80, 90%? Because porn has appeal to people because people are, for the most part, sexual. There's some asexual people, but for the most part, people are sexual. Uh, you know, video games. Is there a small percentage of people who are maybe addicted to it and it is negatively impacting other aspects of their life? Sure. Maybe it's the same thing for porn. There's a small percentage that are addicted where it's negatively impacting other parts of their life. The overwhelming majority of people can play video games in a normal, you know, responsible way and can watch porn in a normal, responsible way. And he frames it 
like it's a bad thing. And he frames it like it's the fault of um, either women or society more broadly for putting men down for being masculine. Now again, I never felt under attack for being a standard boy and now a standard man. And I would pose it to you uh, people in the audience. I mean, the, the majority of my audience is male. I'd pose it to you guys. Did you ever feel like you're, you being yourself was kind of under attack if you're, let's say, a, a straight man? I never felt it. Ever. Not once in my life did I feel like it wasn't okay for me to be myself. In fact, I think it's probably easier for me to be myself than for somebody who's part of some marginalized community to be themselves. You know? Um, I don't get this, and you see this a lot on the right, demoralizing over personal lives and, I mean, really, it's kind of an anti-freedom position. Or this judgment that porn and video games are by definition bad. Or idleness is by definition bad. Sometimes idleness is good. And most people who watch porn doesn't ruin their life. Most people who play video games doesn't ruin their life. These aren't inherently problems. And to the extent that they are a problem, either get help for some sort of real addiction or, and again, this would be my um, advice to most people, fucking pull yourself up by your bootstraps, work on it. As much as when it comes to economic policy, I believe in everybody should get a fair shot, it should be an equal playing field, the basics should be met because we live in a modern, industrial, civilized society. As much as I believe in a, a mix of the collective and the individual when it comes to economics, when it comes to your personal life, your private life, your social life, I'm the opposite. I'm hardcore individualist. In the same way that when it comes to social issues, I'm a hardcore individualist. Which is why, you know, when I take one of the political compass tests, it says I'm libertarian left. Libertarian on social issues, as in live and let live on social issues, and on economic issues, left. So, yeah, I don't, it like, it seems like he's whining and playing the victim for young men in this country. And as somebody who was very recently a young man, obviously I'm not anymore, I'm in my 30s, but I would say, I don't need your fake grandstanding hero speech. I don't need you to pretend like I'm downtrodden or oppressed or I can't be myself. I don't need you to do that. And I, what I need you to do is not judge the shit out of people for totally normal things, like from time to time being idle, watching porn, or playing video games. If you are into porn or video games or idleness... As long as it's not negatively affecting other aspects of your life, and for the overwhelming majority of people, it's not negatively affecting other aspects of their lives, then it's totally fine. I believe in freedom. So, that's my rant on this. I, I thought that this segment would be more funny, because he, you know, he, it's basically like an anti-porn thing he puts out there, but it actually ended up being more serious. Um, weird. I don't know why that is. But I guess I really do take issue with the idea that he's putting out there. I do. Um... Nothing wrong with reasonable consumption of porn. Nothing wrong with reasonable playing of video games. Nothing wrong with occasional idleness. And if you feel like, hey, I have a real problem here and needs to be addressed, well, address it. But definitely, don't just blame broader society. Don't just blame the culture. Um, rep yourself. Rep who you are, unapologetically. And if somebody doesn't like it or feel judged by society, then say, fuck off to the people who don't like it and fuck off to society. And you do what you want and let the chips fall where they may.